more susceptible to cheating. As with no requirement for live video evidence, it creates a possibility for cheating. The replay files in the game are also inputs. This is something that Luma Deagle discovered in 2019. Luma Deagle developed a tool to extract inputs from replays and then play them back. Perfectly recreate what players want. As in Trek Mania, the physics are completely determined meaning that all physics happen as a direct result of the player's actions. Let's take press forward tracks as an example. On press forward tracks, all the player has to do is press forward. And because the input is the exact same in every run, the result will also be the exact same every time. This same principle applies for any constant change movement as well. The exact same sequence of inputs can always have the exact same result. And each detected player's case was carefully looked into in the report. I will now continue to the as he is by far the most well known Trackmania player in this investigation. So we put great effort into ensuring that the case is robust. how his records were achieved. Riolu has uploaded 572 records to the leaderboards, in nations and United forever. In total, his speed spikes per second average out at 11.7 is a very high score considering the number of records. Upon closer inspection, we found that only runs played offline exhibited very high spikes per second and unnatural fast tapping movements, while his steering movements for runs played live on stream or on online servers is much smoother than the steering tables for last tapping. Throughout the investigation, we have tried to find one online record for one run driven on stream with exceptional ability to do these hand movements in a live setting. But we have yet to see any evidence that the will be able to have high spikes per second while driving from high speeders. And we found that these tools do not modify controller's behavior in a way that you can this move. The second most notable player that this investigation turned up is Tekken, who together with Rioli occupied the top spots on the Techmania United solo mode rankings for years. Techno reached out to us and admitted to having played many of his records in slow motion, using Cheat Engine at anywhere from 40 to 80% of real game speed. He also felt that he isn't proud of it and that it was something that he felt he had to do at the time to keep up with Riolu. Interestingly, the inputs in runs that Techno has admitted to playing in slow motion and the inputs in Riolu are very similar in their nature. Both players reaching incredibly fast tapping speeds and doing very sudden movements. Two more players that he made the furthest from North, Lons and Nico, have all Canyon, Trackmania 2 Valley, Trackmania 2 Stadium, and also in Trackmania 2 Balloon. These inputs also occur in Trackmania Turbo, both in World Record Run and also in the Super Trackmaster Metal Replays. In 2015, the role was invited by Ubisoft Nadeo to set strong party times that would be included in Trackmania Turbo. It's a tough challenge for players to try to beat, and we all knew that we could be suspected speed replays emerged in 2011, and we see a steady pattern all the way until 2020, the most recent run being uploaded on the 7th of December 2020. We would argue that he cheated the vast majority of records driven off stream during this period, totaling up to potentially thousands of records. In the description, there will be links to playlists with 200 of his records from various Trackmania games, so you can analyze the data yourself and reach your own conclusions. But you might ask yourself, Riolu is such a good Trackmania player, so why would he cheat? This we don't know, and it's something that we can only speculate about. 
a YouTuber called Miyabi deals a lot with cheaters.